afternoon. I'm Cheryl Dixon and it is my pleasure to be the pastor at Kingston Presbyterian Church here in Kingston, New Jersey. Welcome to the Kingston Presbyterian Church Cemetery where we stop this Memorial Day and we honor those who have given their lives for our country and the world. Let's hear these gathering words from scripture, Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you people. Shout to God with loud shouts, songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High is awesome, a great king over all the earth. He subdues people under us and nations under our feet. He chose heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing praises with a psalm. God is King over the nations, God sits on his throne. The princes of the people gather as the people of God of Abraham. For shields of the earth belong to God, he is exalted highly. Let's join together in our litany of remembrance. In the rising of the sun and its going down, we, we remember, remember them. them. In the blowing of the wind, in the chill of winter, we, we remember, remember them. them. In the opening buds and in new birth thing of spring, we, we remember, remember them. them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we, we remember, remember them. them. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we are weary, and in need of strength, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we, we remember, remember them. them. For as long as we live, they too shall live. For they, they are, are now, now a part of us as we remember, remember them. them. Listen to the words of George Washington and his prayer for the nation. Almighty God, we make our earnest prayer that thou wilt keep the United States in thy holy protection and entertain a brotherly affection and love for one another and for their fellow citizens of the United States at large. And finally, that thou wilt most graciously be pleased to dispose us all to do justice to love mercy, and to demean ourselves with that charity, humility, and pacific temper of mind which were the blessed characteristics of the divine author of our blessed faith. And without a humble imitation of whose example in these things, we can never hope to be a happy nation. Grant our supplication, we beseech thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear now the words of Lawrence Binion, the poem for the fallen. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end, against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Let us pray together. Lord God, until there is no more war and you wipe away every tear from every eye, we will remember. We will remember those who have served and died for the sake of something greater than themselves. We will remember and give thanks to the men and women who knowingly put themselves in harm's way 
so that others might be safer. We remember the families who grieve this day and every day for brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, daughters and sons, friends and spouses who lost their lives while wearing the uniform of our country. Lord God, until you beat swords into plowshares and the ox and the lamb lie down together, we will remember. We will remember that peace doesn't happen without peacemakers and violence doesn't cease unless we stand in the breach and begin to repair it. We will remember that war is costly, the price paid, and priceless lives cut short. O oh Lord God, until the Prince of Peace returns and death and crying are no more, we will remember. We will remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of their country. We will support those who are left bereaved in their absence. We will remember to seek reconciliation, knowing that while we cannot control the ways of the world, we can seek to work for peace in our own lives and communities and seek it for the world. Lord God, until there is no need for men and women to place themselves in harm's way, we will remember and give thanks for those who did and died. In the name of the one who grants us the peace that passes all understanding, we pray. Amen. Let us join in our responsive charge. Out of deep thankfulness for those we remember, we join our hearts in the work they began. If there is to be peace in the world, there, there must, must be, be peace, peace in, in the, the nations. nations. If there is to be peace in the nations, there, there must, must be, be peace in, in the cities. cities. If there is to be peace in the cities, there, there must, must be, be peace between, between neighbors. neighbors. If there is to be peace between neighbors, there, there must, must be peace, peace in the home. home. If there is to be peace in the home, there, there must, must be peace, peace in, in the, the heart. heart. Friends, go today knowing that we remember, that we give thanks for those who gave their all. We pray for peace. We seek to be peacemakers, and we remember and honor the dead. Go now in peace.